Hello everyone, what is up? It is Brooke Tommy here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, if you are familiar with this channel, you would know that this little gal needs some training. If you're new to this channel, let me tell you that this little gal really needs some training. Now, Sprinkle, Sprinkle is my Italian Greyhound, but I prefer to call her my toddler. She is one and a half going on 16. She's got the attitude of a hormonal teenage girl and she's a rebel. She doesn't care. She has no respect for the law. <laughs> okay, let me just quickly give you a little background story now. This is my Border Collie Cedar, AKA an angel. Okay, I'll show you an example. This is how well-trained a Cedar is. The way I like to train my dogs is to say the command once and have them do it the first time every time. Cedar, come. Got a few tennis balls there, Del. Sit. Drop. Get back. Settle. Probably the most well-behaved dog you'll ever meet in your whole entire life. This little gal, sisters, right? You wouldn't believe it, but they are sisters. Now, I said they're only five months apart. And I said from the start, after I got Cedar, I'm like, I'm done training. So basically, long story short, she's a mole. <laughs> but the good thing is for us is that she loves her food. She's a very, very food orientated dog, which for an Italian Greyhound is not very common. Always got something to say. Guess what? We're learning how to be a good girl today. We're learning to be a good girl. She's like, literally I am. Who are you talking to? Not me. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? But you're not, Sprink. You're not a good girl. You're actually quite naughty and sassy. And I've had enough, and we're changing that today. So what I'm trying to do, because we just moved into a new house, we've got a bigger yard. She, oh my God, I forgot to tell you the other day, she literally came in at night time, frothing at the mouth, because she licked a toad. She literally licked a toad. I wasn't supervising her. Considering it's my own yard, I'm like, surely she can't get out because we put in a gate. Nah, foaming at the mouth like she had friggin' rabies. And she licked a toad, so now she can't go outside unsupervised. And now she's got the taste for toads, even better. So now, every time we go to the toilet at night time, I have to go and supervise her. I have to stand outside and make sure that she doesn't lick any more toads. Because dogs can die from toads. <sighs> Sprinkle does not have any recall, which is an issue at night time when I have when I have neighbors and we've just moved into the street and we're trying not to cause a commotion and she's got other plans. Okay, so the last few days I have already been working on her recall. Now, in order to teach a dog recall, what you're gonna need is a high value treat. Now, I'm very lucky with Sprinkle that she actually loves any kind of food. Like she's food obsessed, which for an Italian greyhound, that's actually not that common. Usually they have a lot of stomach issues and they don't like eating that much, but Spring, like everything else, she's different. You love the food. She's even like a little bit chunky. Like, where's her spine? You're a greyhound. I'm supposed to be able to see your spine just a little bit. So it sprinkles a bit of a Chunkosaurus Rex. Like, she has rolls at the back here, which Italian greyhounds shouldn't have. But that's okay. You can't help that you love food, can you? If you have an Italian greyhound, you know, training Iggy's is uh, hard. A lot harder than training a Border Collie. Border Collies are very intelligent and Cedar was so easy to teach. In saying that, I spent a lot of time with Cedar in the beginning, so it didn't, it wasn't just like a one-off thing. It did take a lot of work, but <sighs> dang greyhounds, man, they're gonna break your spirit. If any dog's gonna break your spirit, it's gonna be an Iggy, let me tell you. Now, since we moved into this new house last week, I have started training her and she's doing okay. But if there's a toad around and I say sprinkle come, she just says no. Exhibit A of my moving vlog before, this is what happened. Sprinkle, come here baby. Sprinkle, come. Oh, she's so naughty. I can't handle it. She comes when she wants to, it's on her own terms. That's not what we want. We want her to come the first time, every time we say it. So what I'm gonna be using today is, I got some of this the other day because we want Cedar to put on weight because she's actually a little bit skinny. Um, this black hawk. 
just like little I have some for breakfast no spring 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 just like a little paste now you want to have excuse you literally excuse you this is what I'm talking about she's just hectic man she just has no chill so what I want to do is I know she will usually come to me when I say it in a certain pitch because for some reason I've done that consecutively and given her a treat afterwards, but she's not good with distractions, which being a hound, they're not usually good with distractions. Like as in, if there's a distraction around, AKA a bird or a toad, or if they're playing or if they're sniffing or if they want something else, that's hard. Like it usually grabs their attention and they want that more than they want the treat. So we're gonna start with little distractions first. Let's try it out. Now, both of the dogs know I have this in my hand, which is what I don't want them to know. Oh, shameless plug. Uh -huh. So it's on the top of my car and I'm actually gonna walk away from that food now to make sure that she knows that I don't have it in my hand. CD, go, go get your toy. I'm just gonna put her up here. Come here, look at those fat rolls. Seriously, look at those fat rolls. Come on, Chonk. Come on, Chonkosaurus Rex. It is cold, everyone. It is 25 degrees. Good girl, Sprinky. It's freezing, isn't it, bub? Go get you some clothes. She hates wearing clothes, though. Looks like you're going to get used to it at this house. It's a lot colder than the other house. Oh, you, you cute. You know what? I was just going to work on her recall, but I just think it's going to be a series of trying to teach her all different things because... She's just out of control. This will be training my Italian Greyhound. Well, attempting to. Literally look at her. Sprink. Sprinkle. Come. Yes, good girl. See, now that was good because she knew the food was up here, but she still came to me. So that was really, really good. Good girl, Sprink. Oh, baby bites. Oh. She nearly had the whole thing. That was good, Sprink. Okay, let's go. Come on, girls. Oh, Cedar, you're such an angel, sis. Cedar, listen. Do you want to play with the hose? Get the hose. Yes, bring that one here. See, that's fucked up. have to give her some don't I because that was so good see there's so much more play based than food based look at her she's just lurking you see her just lurking <laughs> just trying to get the food oh she's crying now very good she's crying your sister's a drama queen okay ready Tracy Ooh, give it a kitty That's enough. All done. See ya. Double hand wave. So now I'm walking away from the food. Sprinkle's usually pretty good at this. If she knows I have a treat like that out of the fridge and just hanging around, she's kind of cotton on to the fact that we're doing a training session. Like, she's dumb, but she's very smart. Oh, yeah, have a look at this. Look at what they did. This is your home when mummy's not here, isn't it, Spring? They friggin' dug two big holes. Well, they didn't. She did. You know what I'm doing, and I've had enough. Hey, Sprinkle, she almost refuses to sit on grass. Come. Yes, good girl, Sprinkle. Now she knows I'm gonna go get the food. She's gonna follow me. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what we're doing, don't you, Bob? Oh yeah, we got a ring in, guys. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. I'm looking after Chloe's dog. She's old. She's old as a bit like me. Her name's Bella. We don't really like her, she's kind of annoying. 
No, not for material, only for junk. Hey, hey. You're acting like you've never had a meal in your life. Sprink. Sit. Yes, good girl. Do you want some material? Can you give it a kiss? Hello, Bella. Little old Bella. Little old Bella, just the Pied Piper in a brat. Sprinkle. Sprink. Sit. Why do you step back? I don't understand. Sprink. Sprinkle. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey, cutie bum. Oh, are you bowing? Oh my god. Such a drama queen. Sprink. Why are you like this? Spring. Oh, that's nice. Yes. That was just cute. Okay, that's enough from you. See the drop. This is what it's like. If you're thinking of owning an Italian Greyhound, expect nothing less. Border Collie. Italian Greyhound. Border Collie. Italian Greyhound. Sprink. Sprink. Where's Cedar? Oh, yes! Oh my god, she did the trick that I taught her for YouTube. That was good, Bobby. Well, you're very in my space, sisters. Sit. Yeah. Good girl. Bella, can I teach an old dog new tricks? Sit. Oh, these are Bella's tricks. Where's Bella? Where's Bella? Yes, good girl, Bella. Um, is your name Bella? It's actually not last time I checked. Good dog, Bella. Hey, Bella. Where's Bella? Where's Bella? Oh, good Bella. Yum, yum, yum. Yep. Material, 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 material. Watch this. Cedar, shut the door. Drop. See the difference? Sprinkle, sit. <laughs> Cedar, drop. Speak. Sprinkle, sit. Bella. Bella's like a Shih Tzu cross. What are you? Something. Oh, that's nice sitting, Bella. Speak. That's actually, I will say, one thing she's really good at is speak. And that's because I trained it right. Because without fail, every time I would give her a treat for doing that. Look how good she is at it. Sprinky, come here. Ready? Speak. Yes. Speak. Yes. Oh, right, and she is good at this too. Sprinkle. Bucking ball. Woohoo, Sprink. They're the two tricks that she'll do basically every time. What are you doing? She keeps hopping over there because she literally doesn't want to be on the grass. Drama queen. Hey, Sprinkle. Sit. No. You can train a dog at any age. However, it is easier and they learn how to be trained, I guess, in the first couple months of their life. Now, I did not train Sprinkle when she was young, on purpose. I mean, not subconsciously. I, I made, like I said to myself, I'm not going to train this dog. <sighs> what a mistake that was because, and especially like it's freaking me out now because if she is near a toad and she doesn't like come when I call her, that's not good. Like I don't want to be racing out to try and get her or you know like there's places in this house where she could go hide behind the shed for example and I don't know where she is and if she doesn't come the first time I call her I immediately assume that she's lost it stresses me out whereas Cedar I know for a fact I could let her I could open the bloody front gate and I'd be like come here and she'd turn around and come straight back because I trained her so well as a puppy sprinkle 
come. Yes, good girl. So, like I said, like I said earlier, that is the tone that she knows. Like for some reason, I don't know why I used to train her in that specific tone. Like, oh my God, those are blind eyes. If I ever have seen blind eyes, Bella. Oh, you're so old and crusty. <gasps> Spree, sit. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my God. She is the rebellious second born child. <laughs> She's so naughty. And it's my fault, it's 100% my fault. But I vow to now on make a pact with myself to get her a biscuit every time I call her. So I'm literally just gonna chill here and this is gonna be one of my first attempts to tell her to come here without saying it in that specific tone. Sprinkle, come. Yes, good girl! Sprinkle, sit. Sprinkle, sit. Own an eggy, they said. Sprinkle. Speak. <laughs> yes! Here's Frankie. Can you wait? Come. Yes, good girl! I think she kind of learned wait off cedar because I actually never really taught her that. It's just not gonna happen today. Anyway, team, I'm gonna leave this video here because it's not an informational video like I intended it to be at the start. Her training is gonna take a lot longer than a day. Like what her results that I want are not gonna be seen in this video. And that's, that's quite normal for dogs to learn a new trick anyway. But I'll keep working on those things with her. I'll keep you updated with her progress. Hopefully she doesn't lick any more toads because that's not good. If I find any other hints or tips along the way, I'll let you know. But Iggy's are prone to being hard to train. And, and she definitely fits into that category. Like you can see, we've already kind of done stuff to the house as well. I might have to do a little updated house tour. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Say bye, Spinky. Bye, everyone. Oh, she's cold. It's cold. Hey, Bob.